So today we're going to show young filmmakers how to make simple smoke effects using dry ice. So all you're going to need today is a bowl, dry ice, dry ice you can get at your local supermarket. You're also going to need safety equipment, goggles, gloves, and apron to protect your clothing. Yes. So pour water in the bowl. Wow. Ooh, and now it's bubbly and amazing. Now you're going to turn off the light and turn on light. Whoa, and this looks like spooky Halloween. Lights back on! Yay! It's lacking. I'll put on this water. Okay, now I want to try. He just poured out the water. Um, this water is just room temperature and check it out again, still works like always. <laughs> so the smoke is really heavy, when you're using it in your films it will settle to the bottom and ooze its way across the floor. So you can't use it, it won't go up like real smoke but it's still pretty cool. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to show you another cool effect here using the lab sink. We're going to put the dry ice in here and then we'll let some running water flow over it. Let's do this! So that's how you make simple dry ice smoke effects. And now we're going to show you how to make cool spark and smoke effects with black powder. So stay tuned! Let's go! Come! Come! Let's go! For this smoke effect, we're going to be using Pyrodex. It burns fast, but it creates a nice plume. Don't forget eye protection and something flame resistant. We're going to be using a lighter to light it. And don't do this at home. So we're going to go ahead and do it again, but this time we're going to do it with the lights off. You might want to have a fan close by, but uh, that was simple smoke effects for film.